I find for me doesn't that was a hell of an overtake oh my god that was something like that was like that rally video that went viral not too long ago what's going on guys today we have a brand new Forza-thon challenge event type thing and i thought we would do it here on the channel you can win a pretty cool bentley i whipped out my my old bentley to show you off what we did with our old one so this might be the direction we uh we take our new one so anyways if we give this a pause and we head over to hashtag Forza-thon. This is the Be Extraordinary uh, Forza-thon challenge, and we're in particular, I mean, I don't really care about XP and wheel spins and stuff like that. I really want the blistering acceleration of the 2017 Bentley Continental Supersports, and all we need to do to get it is just complete a race. So, like, I'm just gonna go here. This is how I imagine the majority of people are gonna do it. Just, just fast travel to any event you like on the map, and then just set up a one-lap race and finish it you don't even need to win so it's not really much of a challenge i'll say that really wasn't too difficult if you ask me so that's first place that's gonna be the bentley unlocked like i said it wasn't much of a challenge i'll get i'll get back into that i'll, I'll try to remind myself to get back into that in a little bit but anyways we've unlocked the bentley so it's a 2017 continental super sport so it's like Sort of a newer version of the one I'm currently driving, maybe without the old, the whole aero parts and stuff. But anyways, I want to drive this thing. Actually, let's take this thing online first. Let's go online, give it a little bit of a test drive, see what the new Bentleys like to drive, and then we can do some races with it, and then we can go and upgrade the thing, see what upgrades are available, and do some of that. So I'm going to go on Twitter again and tweet and say I'm doing a lobby and people can come and play and join and stuff. It should be fun. So just put the tweet out while we wait for some people to send some messages over uh let's head over to the auto show and check out this new bentley i think it's gonna be really cool again uh as i say with all of these forza thon events even if you're not a fan of the car it's worth it alone to go and do the challenge because all you need to do is just go do a race and then after you've done the race just sell the car just put it up on the auction house i don't know what the current value of these cars are or, or this particular bentley uh is on the auction house but seriously it's usually a pretty good way to make some really quick easy money so anyways there's the new bentley bentley continental super sports 2017 s1 class all-wheel drive 700 horsepower uh 750 torque that's pretty awesome weighs 5,000 pounds though but yeah that's uh that's why the title of this forza thought is called blistering acceleration because that thing uh launches with a 9.9 .9. that is insane i will say this thing also looks Really awesome. I love that rear wing and just the front end and stuff. I think it looks great. Sweet, we've already got a full lobby. Awesome. Oh wow, and there's actually some other people in the Bentley as well. Oh, I can't see anything. Okay, let's uh let's fix this first so I can see. Oh no, you know what that's from? That was from uh the the thing video. Alright, let's uh let's give this thing a little bit of a test drive. Let's head over. Hmm. Where should we take? I guess let's head up to Yarra Valley because we can upgrade it there. Yeah. Let's do that. Actually, no, we're not going to upgrade it right away, but let's go. Let's see what it's all made of. That interior view. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but that looks real nice. But here's the thing. So my Bentley that I already have in Forza Horizon 3 is just an off-road absolute monster. I've dubbed the other Bentley, the old Bentley, actually both Bentleys, as the best off-road cars in the game. Now, I stand by that statement. And want to see if it's a Bentley common trend uh, amongst them all. So I think we're going to turn this thing into one hell of a rally car, which could be really interesting. I don't know what to expect out of this thing. I don't know what upgrades are available, but just driving it around where I am right now, it feels like, I guess, any other normal Bentley would. Okay, that one's doing wheelies. I mean, one of the nice things I will say about this particular one is that although it is 5,000 pounds, it doesn't feel that heavy, which is really, really nice. But yeah, going back to what I was saying before about Forza-thon and the challenges and stuff like that. In the past, I made a video where I spoke about Forza-thon and I was just saying like, nobody wants to do online only challenges and stuff like that to win cars. It's just annoying, it's frustrating, and it just sucks in general. But at the same time, now, the challenge, the, I mean, the, the challenge today was just to, to just complete a race. Like, I don't, I don't know if I'm the only one, but 
that's not really much of a challenge. It's like, I like the idea of having Forgeathon where you could win cool prizes, for instance, this Bentley. Uh, I'm already figuring out pretty awesome car just stock driving this thing around. But it's like, it, do it doesn't feel earned. It felt like I just did two minutes of work and I got this car and that was it. And I mean, Forgeathon events every now and again can totally be like that. And that's okay. But... I don't know if I'm the only one, but I do at the same time like a bit of a challenge. Like, just off the top of my head, for for instance, getting this car. Uh, you, Forza could have made us do, say, uh, a race in a Bentley Continental, uh, the older one, with a maximum of 500 horsepower, but had to be S1. And we had to win a race. Like, offline, offline win a race. So, I mean, it's still a bit of a challenge if you want to turn the difficulty all the way up. It's not just complete a race in whatever position you finish. You get a consolation prize of a Bentley. It's like, you can turn the difficulty all the way down to super easy if you just want to unlock the car. But if you want the challenge, it's still there because you need to go in. You need to build your car. Then you need to achieve something with that car you built. Like, as an idea, Forza Thought is incredible. It's one of the things that makes me keep coming back to this game every couple of weeks. When there's a cool prize or when there's a cool car or... Or just some wheel spins and some money. Um, it, it keeps me coming back, but I, I like the idea of more of a challenge, I would say. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of that. So, I don't know why I've driven to Yarra Valley since I do want to go and do uh, an off roady style race. So, let's open up our map and check out... Let's, let's go over here. A little point-to-point -point race. It's going to be a complete rally circuit over there. So, let's head over there try to do it in the completely stock one and see how we do like i know i've said it a bunch in this video already but this car just looks awesome like it is very similar to the old one the the general sense of styling a bentley hasn't changed in years but it's like that rear wing makes a big difference the rear diffuser bruh that rear diffuser also makes a big difference and there's those lines in the hood as well i like it i i must say i was skeptical about this thing before we before I started I'm like when I saw it I'm like this is just a new Bentley Continental it's eh at that the at the most but no it turns out that it is in fact quite cool and what I'm finding out already a pretty good car oh my god look at all the Bentleys how sick does that look oh wow I, th I think someone gave it a black roof as well oh my god everyone's in a Bentley except for the one F base Seriously? That would have been so sick. Also, everyone's in like bone stock ones except for Tendi. And that's it. This is going to be the fairest race ever. That's crazy. Alright, well, I guess the Bentley's a pretty good car. Yeah, there goes there goes Tendi in his super upgraded one. We won't count him in this. Oh, it was an F type. I thought it was an F pace. Sorry. Oh, someone's totally gonna miss a checkpoint. I love the color! Holy shit, we're like a swarm. A swarm of Bentleys. Oh my god, I've just been smushed. <laughs> Look at them all! <laughs> that is the craziest thing I've seen in this game in a little while. Man, that's cool. But yeah, one of the things I'm really interested in seeing with this car is that if, if it can be as amazing of an off-road car as, say, its older brother was. Like, it's already really good just driving it around normally. I, I do want to test the off-roading ability, though. Just because I find it's the most fun you can have with a Bentley in this game. It's like, yes, it's an awesome cruise car. But it's also really fast as well if you turn it into something that can do some off-roading. Also, yeah, I'm totally not doing too bad. I am in fourth place. Make that... Oh, Jag! Still fourth place. We are totally going to get this Jag. We are not letting a rear-wheel drive Jag beat us. Okay, I should have braked more for that. We're in fifth. At least I think that Jag is rear-wheel drive. I mean, if he is, props to him for doing so well here. Man, look at that power slide out the corner. Yeah, that's probably all-wheel drive. It's also quite upgraded by the pull that he did there. So that's pretty good. That Bentley, yeah. Yeah, not bad. So, all right. Let's get into the upgrading sort of side of this thing and see what we can do to it. I have very high hopes for this. I wonder, though, if we can toss on the whole GT body kit that we have for the old Bentley. I doubt it, but I feel like this Bentley, I don't know why, 
will have some cool upgrades. Yo, you know what would be a really cool Forchathon challenge now that I've just thought of? It'd be kind of dick-like, but I feel like it would be kind of cool. Say, for instance, uh, they did a challenge. This would be- it, it, this would be really mean, but it would make the car that you could win super rare. What the challenge would be, say, you have to win a race, just any race, uh, in a previous Forzathon car. So say you wanted to unlock this Bentley, you had to win a race in, say, the Horizon Edition, uh, Jag that we did last time we did one of these videos. I feel like that'd be really cool, because one, it pushed the value of the Jag through the roof, because all of the people who sold it thinking they would never use it again. I feel like something like that would be really cool. Anyways, let's see what we've got available. Drivetrain swap, we can make it rear-wheel drive, definitely not doing that. Uh, no engine swaps available, let's check out the arrow. Nothing in here, actually, I mean, I mean, other than your standard forts and stuff, you can probably take off the wing. Yes, you can, and now it's just the same Bentley that we've always had in the game. I feel like the wing just makes this car look so much cooler, though. And we did some weight reduction, and that removed, how much weight did it remove? A thousand one hundred pounds. Not bad. And then we get into the power. How much power can you get from this new Bentley? This engine has 700 horsepower stock. So I'm expecting some high things. There goes the turbos onto it. But you know what? Let's max this out. Let's get everything. We're finishing off 3,800 pounds. So still kind of heavy, but for a Bentley, super lightweight. 1,000 horsepower. It also has 1,100 torque. Oh, shit. This thing is going to be... An absolute monster, providing it turns. I don't think it'll turn, but it's a rally car. I mean, handbrake it everywhere you go. So I guess we don't really, like, just look at it. Oh my god, with the red brakes. Oh shit. It looks so awesome. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's blueprint something up here. So I made this event, anything goes. So people could have brought whatever they wanted. People seem to have had the same idea as me with sticking in the Bentley. Uh, some people have upgraded theirs as well, so that is a good thing to note. Alan's actually gone to the top of S1 class. It's going to be interesting to see sort of the different tunes and different and different things that people went for with their cars. Wow, these gears are really short. Holy crap, that thing is flying. Frosty is gone. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, you remember what I was saying about it not turning? Yeah, may maybe a thing. All right, well, there goes the Ford GT Horizon Edition. I can't wait for this race to go off-road, dude, because, boy, you're screwed. All right, here we go. We're getting in the off-road bits a little bit. I love how I'm sticking with a- never mind. Yeah, the Ford GT puts down his power, and there's not really much I can do about that. Oh, and the Ford GT has written him off. This thing, the way it takes corners and the way it takes jumps, I find, for me, doesn't- That was a hell of an overtake! Oh my god, that was something like- that was like that rally video that went viral not too long ago. Oh my god, that was so sick. Yeah, he's still battling with me. But, oh shit! That was the coolest overtake I've ever done in this game. I think right now I'm the highest ranking Bentley. The guy in first place, I don't know what the hell he's driving, but whatever it is, is seriously fast. What is this guy up in first in? I feel like it's a Lamborghini, but I'm not sure. I feel like he's probably- he's probably rocking a Centenario with a V12 swap, or well, with a V12, or with the V12. 1,500 horsepower, all-wheel drive, and he's just wrecking us. Wow, is that another Forza-thon that I wasn't even trying to do? It is. So we've accidentally unlocked two other or two additional Forza-thon challenges without even trying? Remember when I called them- wait, wait challenges you can see what i mean they're not difficult yeah okay exactly what i said centenario v12 swap or well, v12 all-wheel drive all-wheel drive okay the car is really fast already but he made it like a rally car okay D yeah that was so much fun i want to go do another race in this bentley just because of how good it is um, so let's find ourselves an off-road race. Uh, this lobby- okay, I was gonna say this lobby had some problems loading, so I don't expect everyone to be in, but I guess everyone got in, so good for you guys. Um, now we've got a bunch of different cars this time, we've still got majoritarily Bentleys, we've got seven of them. We actually had another Bentley there as well, there it is, there's the other Bentley, we've got a full-on race car Bentley now. I- I forgot this Forza-thon was a thing, i.e. why this video is up later than 
it usually is if you're watching this as soon as it comes out. But thankfully, Alan reminded me that this this Bentley was. Oh my god, I got that checkpoint. I didn't hear the little click to go, yeah, you got the checkpoint. I'm actually shocked at how good this car is. Like, I don't remember what the power figures of the old Bentley Continental could get up to, but I don't think it was over a thousand. Like, this thing just feels really fast. Also, I don't know how that guy's actually driving a radical off-road. Like, the last time I tried to do that, I had so much trouble. All right, we're doing okay. We're currently in fifth. Yep, still fifth, even with Alan overtaking me. We keep switching back and forth. Alan, you're not gonna pass me by crashing into me and wasting your time like that, buddy. Man, he just keeps cutting me off. Move. Look, I can push you off the track too. Oh, I may have pushed you off the track at a good point though. Oh shit, I put him in the back with everyone. I really got him at a good point. Such a good looking car though. Like, look at that. Oh, I, it's this paint job as well. I don't know who made this paint job, but it looks awesome. Oh, man. Seriously? Like, good car, the Bentley. Very good car. Job well done. All right. That went very well. Well, I'm going to wrap it up there because we've already done like a thousand races in this thing. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like any more information on the Forzathons to come, how you can win. Uh, I know there's a Mercedes coming and the very special one, Sesto Elemento, coming at the end of the month. If you want to know how you can win that, links in the description down below so you can get all the information. Stay up to date with it, and yeah, I think that's it. Oh, thanks for 700,000 subscribers too, by the way. I uh, hit that yesterday, so that was pretty awesome. So thanks for all your support. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!